ago, I did a video on how to embody your dark feminine energy. And I want to get into how to embody your light feminine energy because you need a good combination of both. We're about duality on this channel. If you're new to this channel, my name's Malaysia. I'm a certified life coach, forger, perfume maker, and multi-passionate boss babe because I have a lot of passions that I've learned how to monetize. If you'd like to learn how, go ahead in the description and purchase my Jane of All Trades Masterclass, where I teach you how to embrace all your passions, how to juggle your passions, how to know what passions to prioritize in a society that just wants to put us in a box. The more talented you are, the more money you can make. Let's get on it. And if you're a part of my Patreon community, that masterclass is available to you alongside all my other resources, which will also be linked in the description below for you. Just like dark feminine energy, light feminine energy is not just a look, it's an embodiment. Now let's get into some ways you can embody it. Light feminine energy doesn't give in to the rage bait. She kills people with kindness instead of giving cockroaches the energy that they're looking for, which actually pisses them off even more. It makes them feel even crazier. It makes them look even crazier because they got no reason to be hated. Some people have nothing better to do with their life but to focus on others, and you having light feminine energy in a world that is so dark will be triggering to some, but that's not your problem. When you're happy and minding your business, especially when you're pretty happy and minding your business, some people will make it their business to try to make you feel as miserable as them. I've dealt with this all of my life and what I've learned from it is killing people with kindness or just simply remaining calm and unbothered by people's attempts to try to make you angry or belittle you often highlights people's unhinged and horrible character. They want that energy that you reserve for yourself and not everyone deserves it. Not everything needs to be an argument because what good is it trying to explain your perspective to someone who can't think outside of their own perspective or to someone that always wants to be right? someone who's on a mission to try to find a way to be above you. They can take that energy out of their energetic bank, but you're not about to take energy out of my energetic bank because you feel the need to have everyone think and move like you. Like I said in my Dark Feminine Energy video, I will sing it till the cows come home. People who think what is for them is for everyone are slow. What works for you may not be what aligns with other people and that's okay. There's no need to shame anyone for it to each its own. If what makes me happy is triggering you, it's time to evaluate why you aren't happy. Because happy people aren't triggered by other people being happy in their own way. They're not clocking you. They're too busy making the most of the time on a clock. A great example of remaining calm when cockroaches want to try to come for you is one of Ashley Dalton's recent live streams. She also helps ladies level up who are interested in leveling up their appearance. And this woman who doesn't vibe with her message because she doesn't want to level up, that's not for her, hopped on her live stream to try to tell her and her audience to level down instead of just minding her business and finding what does align with her. And she made a whole fool of herself. Okay, I have the full outfit on. You ready? Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. The full fit. She's committed. Wow! And the Crocs are run down. Extra homely, honey. Okay. What? No makeup? No makeup. No eyebrows? Not no even eyebrows. eyebrows. Okay. No nothing. Wow. Now, you're we still pretty. Good. Listen, girls, we still pretty. Oh. Okay, what? So why did you choose this look, Ash? What made you choose this look? I, I want your opinion on it. I want you to tell me what you think I should do looking homely like this. Because I saw the snippet. I saw it and they said that Ash was telling the girls that if they don't wear lashes and they don't wear makeup and they walking around here, look, with the crop. So tell me, I'm not, I, I, I just came up and do, did the same thing. I'm the statistic that you talk about. So what am, what can I do different? Do you want to do something different? That's the question. Forgive um, me. Forgive so me. So let me tell you this. Let me ask you that. Are you comfortable? Do you love who you are? Because the girls say they love who they are as homely crocs, so they don't need my opinion. I so love who I you. am, Ash, but I just can't find the man. Like when I go out in public, men don't look at me my way. They don't, I don't, I never find the man that's like, you know, paying my bills or doing nothing like that for me. Like they don't take me out on dates. They ghost me, you know? So I just want to know what can I do? I thought I heard a baby in the background. Is there a child there? I thought you I heard, heard a baby. A, you, heard a, you heard a six year old. I ain't have oh, one so, kid. So you do got a man. So you did get a man. So I, I don't need to give you advice. Cause you, no, you know, I no, 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 Ash. When I met my man, I wasn't looking like this. I got a man, so now I'm looking like this. I'm comfortable. I already got a man. Okay, so you don't need advice on how to get one. You got one and had a baby with him, so you don't need my advice. This, what this is it? 
Ashley's content isn't for women who already succeeded in finding the man that they want, who are happy within themselves, who are interested in leveling up. She's helping women who know they can do better to become better, just like the vibe of this channel. So if that's not you, why are you so triggered by this message? The message is just simply not meant for you, but that doesn't give you a right to attack those who the message is for. The messenger who's feeling called to share the message to those who need that message. If you pay close attention, people who are on a mission to come for you due to their own issues oftentimes contradict themselves and don't make any sense because they're acting out of emotion. They're not acting out of logic and they're trying to find logic to justify their unhinged emotions because they'd rather do that than to reflect on why they're so emotional around you. Because not many people are willing to say, yeah, I am envious. Yeah, I am jealous. Yeah, she does make me feel small. Yeah, she does intimidate me. There's nothing wrong with those emotions. Everyone has negative emotions. It's a matter of what you do with them. Watch how fast this escalates. I was, I was 16. I was, I was, no, I'm lost at 16. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep my role. Please let me stay in cat. Okay, okay. I had my son when I was a teenager. I'm grown now. When I met my son when I was a teenager, yeah, I did all that, but now I'm comfortable. My man loves me how, he, how I am. Yes. Okay. What I wouldn't give you any advice. Don't change. If your man loves you like this in Crocs, with your hair undone, with no makeup, with a sweater on, with shorts, you stay the way you are. Something else I'm noticing that's exemplified in this video is a lot of the time when people come for you and try to rage bait you, some people are doing it from a place of wanting to be accepted because they just simply want to be validated. They're triggered by you because they want to be validated and their choices and their life decisions and their lifestyle and the way that they move, but it's not anyone's job to validate you. It's not anyone's job to validate your religion, to validate how you date. That's all you. If you're looking for validation from someone who clearly isn't about what you're doing, you're setting yourself up for failure because they don't have to. It's clear what they represent represent and it's okay to represent something different than what you represent. I wouldn't give you any advice. Don't change. If your man loves you like this in Crocs with your hair undone, with no makeup, with a sweater on, with shorts, you stay the way you are. Now, ladies, y'all heard that. Y'all heard her. Now me, I don't do this every day. I just came up here to give y'all the synopsis of how if your hair was like this, Good here. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not bad. Your face is pretty. No lashes, no nails. Look, these are not even my Crocs. Oh, 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 oh. You showed the cooter cat. Hold on now. No, I did it. No, yeah, I did it. You, you look at it. I did it. No, 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 no. I agree, all hair is good hair. Your face doesn't need makeup, but for those of you who are trying to level up their look, and wanting to have themselves being gorgeous and presentable as your default because you see the benefits of that being your default, hair and makeup is a start. This is like me being overweight, going to a gym class, trying to convince the people in the gym class they don't need to work out to be good looking. Very true. But how tacky of me to show up to a class where people want to do this activity. They clearly want to work out. This is their lifestyle. How tacky of me to try to convince other people to do things my way and that they don't need to do it because I don't feel the need to do it. These people are at this gym class for a reason. It's not about you. That's like me being outside of a gym class, judging people who are in the gym class, thinking that they think they're better than me. So let me bring them down a notch. And as they're walking out of a gym class, let me tell them about how they don't need to go, like to each its own, what are you doing? <laughs> And this is how people who are triggered by you behave. If they're not making a conscious effort to check themselves because of their ego, because they feel like they're too good to have these negative emotions about you, then it can quickly become unhinged. A lot of girls up here, that confidence, and I watch, that's here. You feel me? Let me tell you, their confidence goes down because you are one of those people where you is just like, oh, perfect, you have to do this. You have to do this. You have to have your hands. No. Yeah, and I will continue to do it. As you should. You will continue but... to watch. <laughs> you huh? will continue to watch. You will continue to watch and take notes. 
Girl, I wasn't trying to troll you, but I'm t I was on your panel before this whole thing happened. So I hope you're not getting offensive. But she literally is trolling, and that's another thing haters do who are trying to rage bait you. They'll call themselves out by saying they're not doing something when they clearly are. Oh, I'm not racist, but you know, insert racist comment. She literally said, let me get into character in the beginning of the video. You can tell by her excitement in the beginning of a video. She came on her live stream specifically to troll her. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep my role. Please let me stay in cat. Okay, okay. If something's not for you, it's not for you. Unless someone is personally coming up to you and addressing you specifically and telling you, you ugly, f you need to d -d 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 -d. There's no reason why you should be coming to anyone's face and harassing them and being like, you need to d -d 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 -d. Can I see your nails? If she's a bad see your nails. Your no. nails wouldn't qualify for a neurosurgeon. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> and you have makeup on. You have a I nose job. A I have a lot of it. Yeah, makeup. a lot of it. Yeah, right. You have a nose job, right? Okay. If that's what you believe. You have, look, you got the ribs removed or did you get the light bulb? Oh, do I look that good? Damn. Yeah, you do. Look that good. I got ribs yeah. removed. Did what you else? get the ribs removed or did you get the I light bulb? Which one? Removed. I got a nose job. What else? God, tell me more about I'm that. asking you. You already agreed to the nose job. No, I didn't. Keep going. Keep going. Since you've been looking through my page, worried about me, my no, body. I did not look through your page, but it looks like you have one. Keep going, baby. Keep going. It looks like you have one. You got the, okay, but you got the ribs removed or not? What else, baby? Did what you get else? the ribs removed? What else? Did I? Did you get them? I'm Thanks. asking you a question, Ash. Listen, oh, we can't have this know. conversation as women. Yes. We trying to talk as women. We are right. You got your ribs removed. You got a nose job. You got okay. veneers. You okay. got all of that going on. Let me see your teeth. No, let me see yours. Let me see your apartment. How about Show that? you my teeth, well, let girl. Me let me see your apartment. Let me see what now you, you want to talk. We were just talking about oh, being women, see. and uh, now you want to talk about apartment. My apartment is right here, man. Let me see your apartment now. Now let me see yours. Ooh, let me see your mansion. Not looking good. Not let me see good. your mansion. It's not looking good because you are a real mean girl in life. And when a real okay. woman comes up here, that's not in makeup. That's not none of that. You get intimidated. You're getting very intimidated and you're being very nasty right now. Okay. You're going viral. You're going viral. You're not a nice girl. Okay. You're not. Okay. You're not. And you're trying to sit here and make it seem like you got all the girl what? Put some more makeup. Hold on. Put on some more and cake it up. Take it up. You see how she flipped it? Projection at its finest. She's harassing Ashley about how what she's got going on in her lane, trying to bring her down by trying to discredit her beauty, accusing her of procedures, calling her a bully, calling her a mean girl. And you see how angry and unhinged this woman is? This is what often happens when you're not giving haters what they want from you. They get angrier. They look crazier. It will even go as far as lie and try to paint you as being something you're not to justify their unhinged, hateful behavior. Ladies, we need to pay attention to this and clock it because it can be really confusing and have you second guessing yourself wondering what is going on to where someone is just randomly coming at you sideways. This is what's going on. They're triggered by you and don't want to self-reflect, so they want your energy instead. They want to take you down a notch so they don't feel as threatened, so they don't feel as triggered by your existence. Instead of simply getting out of your lane and embodying their own thing, sticking to what works for them, there doesn't have to be any competition. Two things can exist at the same time. Embodying your light feminine energy is also being open to receiving, receiving gifts, receiving compliments, receiving help. There's no pushback, there's no shame, and there's no guilt. Obviously have discernment on who's trying to give you something because some people can have bad alternative motives, but not all people. When you're complimented, don't downplay yourself and say, oh, you know, no, I'm not, I'm not pretty. Oh, you know, I, don't, I have a stain. Like, don't belittle yourself. That's not cute. Accept the compliment without feeling bad about it. I will say, if you're in an environment with a bunch of crusty haters, downplaying yourself is something that might actually help. But other than that, take compliments and learn to accept things if that's something you struggle with. People love to try to make women feel bad for loving themselves and not working like a mule to get something. But why should we feel bad because we've mastered attraction or we're blessed with attracting things because you can't or don't want to prioritize learning how to attract things yourself? 
You don't always have to break your back and work your arms and legs off trying to do things for yourself. I'm not saying be a lazy and don't work for anything you want, but don't have people making you feel guilty about being receptive and accepting more ease and peace into your life. Only distressed losers will have something negative to say about a woman accepting ease into her life and asking for help when she needs it. Another way to embody your light feminine energy is removing the things in your life that are draining you. Communities, your friends, your job, that crusty man you're putting up with, anything that you can within your power, remove it. A lot of people like to normalize toxicity and there's a reason why it's called toxicity. It's because it's toxic. It is mentally draining you. It's taking an emotional toll on you. It's taking away from the quality of your life and can lead to mental and physical complications long term. This. It's not a joke. Your life and your energy is not a joke. It's precious. And if ever people don't want to treat it as such, that's them. Let them do them without your involvement. And for a lot of us, toxicity is normal because we grew up in toxic households or with people who normalize toxicity. What's normalized in our communities and society has nothing to do with you. Normal. What is best for your well-being? If your friends don't make you feel better about yourself, if your religion makes you feel bad about yourself, if your job is taking advantage of you, if your family makes you feel like sh it's time to remove yourself and find people, communities, things, and a job that energetically fills you up and respects you because you deserve to be appreciated and respected. Sometimes we get it twisted. We think there's something wrong with us when we're just in the wrong environment. Another way to embody your feminine energy is to treat yourself better than anyone can. Why not? You don't have to be rich to treat yourself like the goddess you are. You don't have to be wealthy to treat yourself with more love and care, to give yourself more grace, to have patience with the process as you do with other people. Another way to embody light feminine energy is to lift other women up. Lift up the women in your community. Share resources, compliment, and support women who inspire you. That same amount of love you are giving to that dusty ex that didn't deserve it is the same kind of love you should be giving to other women. Something I've noticed is in my platonic friendships, I love up on and spoil and am spoiled and loved up on more than the average romantic relationship. I remember when I went keto, I was overwhelmed by it. I was having a bad day. My best friend brought me a giant bear, some Duncan, some bacon from Duncan, and a nice iced coffee to my job. Maybe it's because my love language, one of my love languages is gifts. So like I naturally love giving gifts. I love finding something when I'm shopping that I know my friend will love or that I know my sister will love. Women are just naturally giving. We're naturally nurturing. Personally, I feel like there's no greater love than sisterhood. This narrative that all women are catty and envious isn't it. It is dividing us instead of bringing us together. Yes, there are women who are just as demonic as men, but through discernment and being intentional about the environment, you're making friends and you can really foster beautiful bonds that lift you up and genuinely support you. And it's an amazing thing. No one should feel alone. And if you do, email me and I will personally try to find some communities that align with you for you to join because there's something for everyone. Your tribe is out there. Another way to embody your light feminine energy is trusting in a divine. This can be God for you, Mother Gaia, your ancestors, your spirit guides, whoever you consult, we all have a right of our own spiritual practices. Trust that they got you. This will alleviate a lot of burdens, a lot of the stress and gunk inside of your head. Having faith in the unknown and leaving it to God, trusting your manifestations are on the way from the universe, trusting that your magic is working is a piece like no other. Because when you're having your tower moments, when you're in the midst of spiritual warfare and tragedy, you know everything is eventually going to be okay. Instead of thinking everything is against you. You trust that things are working in your favor, even the obstacles. Because the obstacles are teaching you something that leisure never could. Of course, this doesn't apply to all situations. Some of us are actual victims of serious, unreversible trauma and assault that none of us deserved. And in those cases, trust better days are coming to you. Have faith that things can get better eventually because you do deserve better, but you won't get it not thinking that you deserve better and accepting less. Thank you.